It's Sunday morning and just got showered and dressed. Uh, we're going to the clubhouse at the golf course to have brunch today. It's the last one of the season. So I want to go and say hi to Karen and Mickey. Karen's the lady who owns it and cooks all the food. And then Mickey's her server. Nice older lady. She's, uh, she's always very sweet. So we're going to go there and have brunch. Um, don't know what the menu is this week. They did not post the menu. They just said it's the last one of the season. It'll be good. That's all I know. So we're going to go see. We're going to go check it out. Her stuff's always good, though. I skipped the breakfast of twice baked potato, Italian chicken, lasagna, beef and noodles, meatloaf, salad. So yeah, here we are. Here's the golf course. Ooh, out that way. There's people in here, so I don't want to be disrespectful. So there. We're going down a little dirt road we haven't been down in a while. I've been turning on side streets because there's a big bike ride going on and we've been we've uh, been behind bicycles several times and every time I see a big herd, I just turn to get away from them. <laughs> there was a big crew at a corner down there and I yelled, to have a safe ride. A lot of bicycles. A lot of bicycles. Thousands. Thousands, yeah. This is a big ride. They do it out of Three Oaks. It's called the Three Oaks Spokes. Some kind of club. They do it every every fall we have about 50 toilets over there for them but this is a pretty drive this is a nice road i can't remember the last time we drove down it though oh, yeah, been a while boyle lake, lake right over here yeah boyle lake road looks like somebody's either down here fishing or hunting they used to have a beach back there you could drive back there and have oh. all the i don't remember that at all oh yeah out today though we actually got blue skies and not overcast and ugly this beautiful, guy beautiful day. this guy might i don't know if he's fishing down here or he's out oh they're they're out kayaking they're just coming up so we're gonna go in front of them a man and his two sons but sometimes you'll see people park because they're out turkey hunting because turkey hunt turkey season's right now did jeff ever get a turkey have you heard? I don't know. I haven't seen him. Oh. But okay. There's a little bit of a cruise for you. Okay. It's in my room. It's evening. What time is it? I don't have glasses on. I can't see. I don't know. Maybe 7? 30? 8? I don't know what time it is. Uh, I just got done going through all my accounts on the computer. I got everything in order for tomorrow. So yay. I'm going to try one of these drinks. I got this drink at the Asian market. I have had this before, but I've never had this flavor. This is white peach. There's like um, chunks in it. What exactly is inside of this thing? It's called a coconut milk drink. Um, there's like jellies in it. Let's taste it. Mmm. This flavor is very good. I think you only got one of these. Mmm, so good. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So one thing I love giving it at Asian stores is all the strange drinks. I love it. Tomorrow night, when Dad's at Monday Night Football, I'm going to have my kimbap. I'm still full from lunch, so I'm not really having dinner tonight. <laughs> that will make me feel full. So, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. If I can hit the button. There it is. I can see it. Monday. Did I record anything earlier? I can't remember. Did I? I don't think so. See, now I gotta go look. Hang on. I have not so happy Monday. Woo woo. It's evening. It's like almost seven. And I'm having dinner, which is, uh, I ordered takeout from Tasty Chen's, or a little Chinese place up the street. I just got me some dumplings and some crab rangoon. That's all I wanted. And uh, dad just left to go to my night football with a big crock pot of chili. And today, well, today was a long work day, but I bought tickets to see Weird Al next year. Not, it's like almost a year away. It's in September of next year. So I'm excited about that. I bought two tickets and I messaged Nikki. I'm like, 
Um, would you want to go to a show with me next year? She's like, who? And I'm like, Weird Al. She goes, I will make it. I will make it happen. And I think his uh, he's going to have also Puddles the Pity Puddles Pity Party. He's a guy dressed as like a clown and sings really, really well. Like, uh. Another ticket I almost bought earlier is a show in November. I would love to see it. It's a postmodern jukebox. But I'm still on the fence about it. I don't know. I don't know if it'd be a show Dad would like. I don't know if Nikki would want to go. I should ask her if she, that'd be something she'd be interested in. But right now I'm just going to eat dumplings and watch. If there's a Big Brother that, but I know the Mass Singer's on there. And like I said, 2020's Datelines. I think I got two or three of each of those. So. Now I must go. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm stuck home all day tomorrow. I'm, I got my clothes laid out to get up, take a shower, get cleaned up. My van goes in the shop at 8 a.m. They're going to be having it all day long. It's getting new wheel bearings and I don't know what else. So I'm going to, my project tomorrow is to go through all my accounts. Call anybody whose credit card has declined to get a new card because so many people have to change cards and they can't remember all the people they got to change them with. So I got uh, part of it done yes, yesterday on Sunday and then I'm going to finish it tomorrow. And then once I get my regular work done, I'm going to go into... Hey, this is Stacy with Brad Board with Toilet Company. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be me. Okay, bye. I think I got you up there. Hello, it is Tuesday, I've been at my desk doing billing, let me shut this part of my program. Uh, I gotta turn to that desk here in a minute and pay some bills and such like that. Oh, you know, I should enter September for my uh, so I can reconcile in a few days. Also, next week I gotta do quarterly taxes. Wee! Wee wee! <laughs> um, here, this Saturday I said I was gonna go to that thing. I want a voucher to get in, so I get in for free. And then I just have to pay for dad to get in. Which is pretty much just pay for him to get in and sit and watch people. That's okay, five bucks isn't, isn't gonna break me. And then, I got a card in the mail. Let's pull her out. I already know who it's from from the handwriting. Uh, early Halloween card. <laughs> I had lots of cool Halloween cards. Put them away and can't find them. I've been there. You know how that goes too. I do. Oh, well, I like to keep things hard to let go. I totally know how you, when you put something away and you can't find it. Or we put something where I know it is and somebody else in the house, dad, moves it to another location without telling me, then he can't remember where it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I always try to pound it home. If you move something, tell me where you're moving it to so I know. Uh, enjoy, enjoy the cooling down temps as most head into fall. It is, it's cool out today. It's really nice. Stay well, healthy, and wise. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you guys are having a good time. Also, have a great Halloween. Can you believe Halloween's at the end of the month? It's October, people. October. How did it happen? How did it happen? Um... Eight o'clock, my van went down to the shop right when they opened. It's uh, almost 1.30, haven't heard anything yet. I told them yesterday I really would like it back today. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, we have a few trucks down in my business, which is making things a little difficult. If we could just, I was talking around last night, he called me on his way home at like 4.35. And he's like, if we just get one of the trucks back, and it's electrical, it's all electrical. Um, they run, but they won't go over like 25 miles an hour. 
He's going to get one back. It'd be a game changer. Because he, on Sunday, he did a 12-hour route to catch up on everything that's lacking right now. And he said the route he did was one of our guys. And he says, if I was our customer, I would fire us because he has not been cleaning them that well. So he had a discussion with the guys yesterday morning. He goes, I was hard on him yesterday morning. I just flat out told him. <laughs> so it's been aggravating for sure here lately. But maybe once things slow down, it'll calm down a little bit. So yeah, that's about all my day is, is the home. Staring at this computer screen. I gotta go check uh, the online to see if I have any new tasks. I use this thing called the service program and that's where they enter if things, new rentals go out or pickups for the guys. I just look at my tasks. I have it set to where all I see are mine because I don't want to see everybody else's. I don't care about everybody else's. I just care about mine. Um, uh, what do we got? Anything? Nope, they're all green. Green means future. Yellow means today. And red means it happened before today. So everything I have is on green. And a lot of the ones at the end of the list are just pickups for the season. Take off billing, take off billing, take off billing. Because, um, you know, season's coming to an end. You know, a lot of golf courses are uh, shutting up, taking out all the extra toilets that they use for the main season. The schools are, um, well, soccer's over, but football's in. Um, I think soccer's over. I don't know how it runs. So. Oh, it says... 11-1. Oh, no wonder I was confused. All right. I gotta go change an invoice and resend it because I have it wrong because it was sent to me wrong. Okay, bye. I've talked way too long. It's almost Betty by time. It's after nine. Someone's eating her treats. And today, earlier, when I was sitting in there watching TV, I heard her out there crunching on her cat food in the kitchen. So that made me happy. The first time I've heard her eating her cat food for a while. I know she has been eating it because it has been disappearing, but uh, what a yawn. Right in your face, cause you tired. You ready for bed? You ate them all. You did it again. Very good. Very good, Bubba. So I'm gonna get these clips together, get them uh, uploaded. Dad won't be home till about ten or so. He's working bingo tonight. And uh, they should be getting done here pretty soon. Usually he gets done between 9.15 and 9.30. Then they shut everything down. What do y'all get right in the Oh my goodness. And then there's one of the ladies he drops off at home <coughs> on his way home. Uh, so yeah. We're supposed to go to a... Oh, did I tell you I got my van packed? Purrs like a kitten. Purrs like a kitten. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now I'm going to burp right in your face. What? Stacy? what are you doing? I just drank a whole lot of water and it's really, really affecting me. Okay. He called me about a little after 4. Because if by 4.30 I hadn't heard from them, I was going to call down to our car guy. And he goes, uh, it's ready. They're still waiting for one other little part that is just a simple thing and um and now i'm afraid of when the bill comes because i haven't gotten a bill yet but i know it's probably gonna be pretty hefty but i don't care i need my van she's been a good van uh he said her wheel bearings he said the wheel bearings lasted a lot longer than a lot of vehicles do she's at about one hundred eighty thousand miles and uh this is the first time she's had any problems with him. <laughs> I went out a little while ago to the van. I had ordered me a, a taco. And I got a tea. Something else. 
uh, from Taco Bell and I went out and I got down, down to my van. I'm like, oh, she got pretty shiny new lug nuts in the front. So I'm sure the other side in the front has pretty shiny new ones too. And uh, yep, no squealing when she starts. No wah, 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 wah when she's driving. <laughs> That's what the front wheel bearings were doing. Uh, no check engine light. Oh, she's wonderful. But now I'm gonna go. I will see you all later.